Hey guys, it's Pineapple, and in this video, I want to go over Bakugo's Quirk Awakening cluster and pretty much how it works. But before we do that, I want to go over pretty much all of Bakugo's growth up until this point in the series to explain where his explosion started and how they've gotten to this point now. Before we try to explain like exactly what cluster is. So as we know, Bakugo's hands have sweat that he can ignite into explosions. And by building up sweat like in his gauntlets, he can then take advantage of the higher amount of sweat to cause a larger, more intense blast. In the very beginning of my here at Academia, I think it's very safe to say that the simplest application of Bakugo's quirk, one that we've seen quite a few times, is just igniting all the sweat in his palm at once. And early on in the series, like during the sports fest in the forest training arc, we saw Bakugo largely trying to up the rate of sweat that he produces from his hands, allowing the explosions from his superpower to become even larger. But as time goes on, he learns useful tricks like AP Shot, which is a technique based on Bakugo focusing the sweat into one place on his palm. Now to do this, Bakugo puts one hand on his other hand in like a circle shape, which I'm sure is where all that sweat is gathering. And I'm also sure the hand helps, since by this point Bakugo isn't really proficient with manipulating the actual sweat on his hand very much. But we see that AP Shot is a large focus blast, and that further evolves into AP Shot Auto Cannon, which is a version of the original technique that can be fired repeatedly, with the rate growing over the course of the series, to the point where Bakugo can honestly just pelt someone with these. But as we saw with Shigaraki, sometimes he's going to need something even stronger than that. Because although the AP stands for armor piercing, they weren't able to damage Shigaraki at all. But we'll come back to that arc in a second. So the time where Bakugo's explosion really grew the most was during his time with Endeavor, Shoto, and Deku, during the Endeavor training arc that we saw depicted in My Hero Academia Season 5. Here, Endeavor gives each of the boys advice on how to use their powers better, and for Bakugo, he tells him that he needs to learn how to build up and compress. And what Bakugo takes away from this lesson is that he needs to learn how to build up and compress, which is something that's become second nature to Endeavor. We see how being able to do that on a dime increase Endeavor's speed at key moments, so that let's say when a truck is careening down a street and you need to really kick it into high gear to make sure you save someone, you can do that. And you aren't just left wishing that you had more fire or more explosions to make you faster. Instead, build up and compress what you already have. And you can take advantage of the difference in the release of energy between two different styles instead of trying to up your power endlessly. It's honestly a really good lesson for Endeavor to be teaching because it shows that instead of trying to race his own power forever in a pursuit to be better than All Might, he likely reached the point where he learned how to do stuff like this, that more so takes advantage of what he already has and helps him achieve higher peaks than what he was capable of, just focusing on growing his power single-mindedly. So we see for a while that Bakugo trains and tries to take advantage of this advice, but in the Paranormal Liberation arc, when Bakugo's body moved on its own to save Deku, he used a new kind of explosion that he hadn't used before, likely an early perfected version of his current cluster technique. With an interesting new explosion pattern, even a little bigger than how it was shown at the end of the Endeavor training arc. Here, managing to stay awake and continue fighting for just a while longer, we saw Bakugo thinking back to how his explosions felt in that moment where he wanted to save Deku. And for a little while, he utilizes the new explosions in his fight against the villains at the end of the war. But again, it was a very brief showing, despite the fact that it did lead to some really cool pages because of the way that Hori draws them from this point forward being really awesome. Since then, we've seen Bakugo making use of them a bit in the search for Deku, but now with him finally telling us what the technique is named and exactly how it works in chapter 336, I feel like it's a good time to get into just that. Cluster isn't just a new technique that Bakugo has learned. It's more like a new method entirely. With Bakugo's normal explosions, as we've explained up until this point, all the sweat on Bakugo's palm is ignited at once. So the more he's sweating, the more sweat there is on the palm to detonate. With Cluster, however, instead of just detonating all the sweat inside of his palm, Bakugo has learned to actually control the sweat on his body to a certain extent by learning how to build up the sweat on his palm into small little spears of sweat. This by itself would change the explosions that Bakugo has quite a bit, but taking it a step further, Bakugo has learned to not just build up the sweat that he's generating into spears, but he's also learned how to compress those spears, making them more dense, meaning that there's more sweat in a smaller area than there would be with even just a usual spear of sweat. So that makes the tiny explosions that happen in Bakugo's palms 
far more violent. And I think that's exactly why we see that Bakugo's explosions have changed visually, with them now looking like a series of tiny explosions with many flashes of light or a large flash of light and explosive fire and ash, likely due to the compressed explosions going on. This compression and release of potential energy makes Bakugo much, much faster. It makes his explosions hit harder and it allows him to be more accurate with the explosions and the size of the explosions that he's trying to make. The one drawback that we've seen though is that to do this efficiently, Bakugo has to generate more sweat than normal, since he's trying to create dense spears of sweat on his hands that contain more sweat in total than the usual amount that he would have on his hands normally. So because of that, he needs to wear his winter suit to try and keep up the heat. And all in all, this is gonna add to his level of exhaustion and tire him out quicker than normal. So I think it kind of does make him a little bit more of a glass cannon. Now, the reason that I think Bakugo needed this new kind of explosion, which kind of upgrades all of his moves, right? Is because the class is gonna be coming up against major villains soon. And I think Bakugo is gonna lead the fight against someone major, like All For One's real body. We know that Deku and some of the class are probably gonna have their hands full with Shigaraki, but if All For One really wants to do this, I think he's gonna have to show up himself to make sure that the job honestly gets done. I think we'll actually see Bakugo leading the class and maybe even some pro heroes in an attack against All For One himself. Because if you remember, Bakugo's whole thing is surpassing All Might and Deku, so I think he definitely gets some bragging rights for being the one to take down All For One himself. Or at least he gets some for being able to keep him busy until Tenko is free to use Decay on him and take him out himself. Regardless, I think Bakugo wearing his winter costume is a really sneaky way for Horikoshi to have him wearing a similar costume to the second user since the second user also led a team against All For One. And obviously, I don't think that Bakugo is the second user, but there likely is some family tie there, maybe far down the line. And I think that's the perfect breeding ground for some sort of awesome parallels, as if you remember, Deku still hasn't unlocked the final quirk of One For All. So I'm sure Bakugo, as usual, will play some sort of role in that, and I'm excited to see what it is. Most of the fandom has decided that it's a laser at this point, along with me, and I think that since Horikoshi's kind of gone out of his way to show us that Shigaraki lost Reflect thanks to Star, that would actually be a good quirk for Deku to have. And I could only imagine how massive the beams would be thanks to One For All, considering that the second user's been in there the longest, so his quirk has probably been supercharged by this point. So I'm really invested in where this is going and what the quirk might be, and let me know in the comments below if you think it's the sort of thing that Bakugo can teach Deku to use better by applying the same logic behind his cluster method. Also, let me know what you think about Bakugo maybe taking on All For One in this final battle, as well as my take and explanation on Bakugo's new way of creating his explosions. With all that said though, I think this is a good place to stop. So this is Pineapple. I'll see you guys again later. Peace.